everyone. Welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is our Doctor Who review of the latest episode, which I think is 10. I think it's episode 10 of uh, The Empress of Mars. Uh, and this is going to be spoilery filled. Look, we remember the sign this time. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, first off, welcome to hashtag Cold Beer Sundays and our chance to do a review. This episode, what do you think? Um, it was okay. It was, you know, it was fun. It wasn't kind uh, of a classic-y kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of campy. Yeah. The the aliens looked like the ones from the, um, uh, Land of the Lost. The yes, yes. What? Well, so I we're, we're, we just got done watching the episode like maybe five minutes ago, and uh, so while we were watching the episode, I was doing research because <laughs> Google Google Foo was good today. We can have another story about that. So the Ice Pirates originally showed up in '67 with the Second Doctor. Oh wow! So this is a, a kind of I don't know what it is. They're going to do um, an old school Cybermen one too oh, episode. Really? There's like three episodes left, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, is this Moffat's kind of um, homage. homage to the homage to how we yeah how we got here? Well, and so if you think about it, because uh, I brought up the fact that he used psychic paper, and I don't remember yeah we were talking about psychic, that I don't, I don't remember paper, yeah um, at all, and he made a reference to the um, um, Oh my sonic god! Screwdriver. Sonic screwdriver yes. not working, not having a wood setting, and why does it still not have a wood setting? Yeah, so, so there was a lot of like little things. And there was there. a lot of references to, um, like T two, um, yeah, movie references, like really weird movie references, like T two, um, the a Frozen, uh, like there, there was a bunch, and there's the been a thing, the thing, thing yeah. yeah, and uh, and then there was also you know throughout the season there's been some Star Trek references and stuff like yeah. that. So I'm, I, again, with the weird references and kind of winks and nods and stuff, um, this episode uh, they're in they're at NASA. They just show up at NASA, which is probably one of the funnier scenes they had all season. Yeah, NASA's <laughs> doing this countdown to this image they're getting from Mars, and the doctor walks up, says three, two, one, and the guy who's leading NASA in the room like turns and the doctor like, "Who are you?" And the doctor just he says, "I can never resist a countdown." <laughs> Which is just a great line, um, and then but the three of uh, Nardal, Bill, and Dot, the Doctor, are all kind of like walking around in NASA's main office, and this image comes up above the uh, 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 on the screen, and it says "God Save the Queen" on Mars. On Mars, and so they take the TARDIS to Mars, and they get out, and they're walking around, and they find a Victorian era soldiers' camp inside this cave on Mars and it's kind of really weird that this is happening and Bill falls into a hole and for the first time the whole season the doctor freaks out that Bill's in danger he hasn't freaked out at all the whole season when something's happened yeah and it wasn't like he was just concerned oh no what happened to him he was like really like like losing his shit really upset <laughs> yeah and it was I was very odd that that happened and in this kind of like almost a throwaway episode yeah i mean there really wasn't other than um you know the end there really wasn't anything yeah uh so the doctor tells nardal to go back to the tardis get ropes and climbing gear or whatever nardal gets into the tardis and then the tardis decides to go home and gets to the doctor's office in modern times and is and at the school and won't leave and so Nardal goes downstairs to the vault and asks Missy, can you help me drive the TARDIS? And she said, yeah, sure, as long as you let me out. I kind of have to, I, I kind of have to be, be there, there right. to, to do that. Right. And he's like, mm. And then the rest of the episode is them on Mars. Yeah. And dealing with the Ice Warriors. And uh, the Victorian soldiers find a tomb, wake up the queen... Uh, there's this standoff that kind of remind me of the Osgood box episode with the yeah the, with the the humans and the sucky face sucky uh, why can't I remember <laughs> and that whole thing happened in C two seasons ago 
And then they wake up a bunch of those ice warriors, and there's a standoff, and it just it's just a uh, uh, it ends up being that the ice warrior queen uh, s- saves the Victorian soldiers um, from annihilating them, pretty much. And and it's just kind of a weird throwaway episode, except for Missy and Nardal shows up with a TARDIS. And the doctor has another hissy fit at the end to say, you can't, you can't leave the vault. I have to take you back. And, 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 and she's like, okay, fine. And, and it's like, like the whole episode was that last little minute and a half and that whatever, three minutes in the beginning, they had to deal with Nardal going and asking Missy for help. And the rest of it was a throwaway. Yeah. Yeah, as far as having anything to do with, like, the rest of the season. Right, yeah. right. And I yeah. just, I, I, I like the episode, but I think I'm not really happy with what's going on. Well, I'm sure that it's all leading to something. And, and in the end, we will understand what's going on I'm, with Missy. With Missy and, and from a viewer's perspective, at least for me, all these really obscure references and nothing really connective yeah in the, in the episodes the only really connective stuff we've had is with missy which i didn't think was what the season was going to be about and so i'm just i'm really confused on what's going on and and which is probably moffat being moffat yeah and and totally dicking with us but it just this episode itself um although fun and i, I kind of like the old schoolness of it I liked it better than the last one. Definitely better than the Emoji episode, <laughs> Emoji Robots. But again, I just it feel like it's a throwaway. Yeah, it's, you know, I, I mean, it goes back to the that three-part um, one. You know, we kind of have gotten used to or expect these big, long, drawn-out... Um, uh, plot lines. Plot, yeah, yeah, plot lines. Story and, arcs. And... Um, we just really, I don't really think we've had it at all with Capaldi. And so it kind of makes it seem a little jarring, a little fragmented. They, they had, you had the two Osgood episodes. And la, was that last season or the season before? You had the story arc of him in the castle where he had to fight his way out. And then you had to go, he had to go back to Gallifrey yeah. Deal. That was like a that, two or three episodes. That was arc. really good. But that was really, really deep and impactful to the Doctor as a whole, and all of his regenerations and all of the versions of him that he's played. That was a really important, important thing. But this season, it just—I I don't know if I expected more from this season, being that the last season for Moffat and Capaldi. Maybe. Uh, uh, um, or I'm just, you know, I'm. I'm holding it to a higher standard. Or we're going to get to the end and go, oh my God, he was playing us the whole time. Fucking Moffat. <laughs> God, Jesus, every time. Uh, so overall, this episode was middle of the road. Um, no, I mean, take away the expectation. I, I thought it was a good episode. Uh, I thought it was fun. It yeah. was good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I really... <laughs> we, we both, when the... When the um, Martian thing. What were they called? Uh, Ice Warriors. Ice Warriors. There you go. Um, when they shot the first uh, soldier and he crumpled up into this cube. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> that was. That was kind of out of left field. And there was a couple of like, like really fun things like uh, the Victorian era spacesuit. Oh, yeah. But... Dude, I want to do a... St- Victorian era of space suit <laughs> cosplay now with the freaking horn sticking out so you can talk so can and, hear, and yeah, yeah it was that was kind of fun and 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 the the conversation between the captain and the and the commander and and the whole Victorian era kind of yeah well stuff. the Ch- uh, China or India uh, yeah and, sh- and Billy's like uh, China. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're talking about tea, and all the rations are are low, except they're having tea and cakes. Yeah, and... <laughs> yeah. And there was another scene, another I, 
they've done this multiple times this season, but there was a scene where um, the the captain was asking the doctor and Bill, like, are you guys alien? They were into the, the barracks. Are you guys aliens? Are you from a different time or whatever? And and Bill says, we're kind of like police. And the captain turns around and starts laughing at her. And she's like, are you laughing at me because you think we're aliens? And she's like, and he's like, no. The fact that there's a woman who, as a police officer. No is, woman could ever be, a, be police a police officer. officer. So, again, kind of dealing with that. Sexism. Sexism and gayism and racial racial overtones. There's, there's been that kind of overlying. They've th- they've on. managed to throw one in a, an episode. Episode, yeah. Like her in the in, in the one with the monster under the, under the ice was that the name of the yeah. episode and and she was like, uh, am I going to be okay because yeah. I'm I'm here and I'm black, you know and and yeah and then her being the blue there, guy the blue guy yeah the so they've guy. thrown something yeah. in every. Every episode, whether about race or uh, social commentary, I'm okay with. We should be having the conversation. Just stop shoving it down my throat. Uh, so that's our opinion on this episode of Doctor Who uh, called The Empress of Mars. So what do you guys think? Did we miss something? Did you like something that we didn't like? Did you not like something that we liked? Let us know. Like this video. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you thought about this episode. You can also get a hold of us a uh, hold of us on Facebook at the Pop Culture Cult. We're on Instagram at Pop Culture Cult One, and we're on Twitter at Pop underscore Cult One. Please like our pages, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers, so please, please, please subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time, go enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Hashtag Cold Beer Sundays. Good afternoon now.